How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm doing a very simple piece which is a Mayan statue and I love doing statues. They're so they're so imperfect that they look perfect. As you may know the tribes from back in the days they were carving the stone to create these massive projects to dedicate it to their gods and uh, so what I'm going to be doing to give it that effect that it looks like stone is on the edges of the statue I'm going to be doing like scribbly lines, you know, like little cracks here and there to make it look like uh, the stone is chipping off and that's what's going to give it the effect that is stone. And for everybody who speaks Spanish, para la gente que habla español desafortunadamente, esta semana no pude agregar subtítulos porque he estado demasiado ocupado y agregar subtítulos la verdad se toma un poco de horas, varias horas la verdad y mucha paciencia entonces este desafortunadamente se me acabó el tiempo esta semana pero para la próxima semana les prometo subtítulos. So with that being said, uh, let's get to it. In one word, oh, God. describe your personality. Describe my personality? Yeah. Uh, Perfect, thank you. <laughs> In one word, describe your personality. Chill. In one word, describe your personality. Dark. Oh, shit. <laughs> In one word, Describe your personality. Exquisite. <laughs> In one word, describe your personality. <laughs> Don't make me do that. All right, my guys. Let me get this out of my system. Ugh. The concept that we're doing on the forum is a Mayan statue, una estatua maya. What I want to focus on is how to execute and how to give the effect that looks like a statue with only using the liner. Now it's not a challenge that I'm only using one single needle or uh, just a liner. I'm just saying that because I feel like using the liner might give me, might uh, help me a lot to really do the texture and the style that I'm going for. So I don't know if I'm going to be using a seven round liner or a 14 round liner or maybe a 14 round shader. So let's get to it. I don't got a lot to explain to be honest. This is what I'm going to be working on. Boom. Right there. I'm gonna use, I, I'm thinking maybe a seven round liner to be honest. So, let's get this day started. All right, so today is unexpected. I was not planning on recording today, but hey, it's a cool piece. So let's see what we talk about today. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking that I'm gonna be using just one needle, either a seven round liner, 14 round shader, or a 14 round liner. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna be using until I'm in there so i'm gonna start with testing out all three and see which one fits better or which one feels more comfortable to do the whole thing with it so let's put on the stencil for now i'm gonna do a tutorial with like a a, a weird voice hi guys so that way i apply my stencils do that spongebob <laughs> that spongebob voice right? uh, this is how spongebob uh, sounds in spanish look <clears throat> my best impression his galenas <laughs> Damn good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was a rocky boy. No, no, no. Wait, how do you say Patricio? Patrick? Hola, Patricio. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo Esponja Pantalones Cuadrados. Así se le dice. I watched SpongeBob in Mexico for like 12 years, bro. <laughs> all right, so I be, I'm putting on the stencil or the stencil stuff all the way down to the hand. I'm exaggerating because you never know. I would hate to put on the perfect stencil and something didn't stick. Like that, it's a pet peeve of mine. So I'd rather just complimentary massage and <laughs> the whole thing. And... That's a good stencil right here. Perfect stencil. Look at that. Man, we're gonna get down today. I was not even planning on recording it, but now I'm like excited. Look at that. That looks so sick. So, what we have here, this is a 14 round shader. Boom. This is a seven, seven round liner. And the final option for me is gonna be a 14 round liner. But after putting on the stencil, I realized that the face uh, has a lot of open skin, so I'm not gonna be using a liner for that area. 
I'm actually going to use a 15 curve mag, uh, but the rest of it's going to be with the liner. And just little, little changes as I'm going. It's all about having fun. The reason why I need to test out which one is, is going to help me the most is because uh, as soon as I choose a needle, I got to stay consistent with the same exact uh, size of uh, my cartridge. Consistency throughout the whole tattoo is what's going to make this look like real statue. So let's see. Perfect. Let's see. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I see. I like it. So far, I like it. Okay. Fourteen round liner. That's what I'm gonna be using. I like the way it feels right now. I really like the way it feels. Consistent. Just what I need to create, you know, texture. Yep, fourteen it is. Let's go.
So after doing almost the whole tattoo, I'm ready to explain how I've been doing the texture and with one needle. So now what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna show you guys the way I'm gonna do this area, which is you know what I've been doing throughout the whole entire tattoo. So now I'm gonna use, I've been using my 14 round liner. My voltage is a 5.0. So I'm gonna start with my medium gray. This little corner right here. You gotta heal the rattle. I like the rattle. When the needle is rattling, look, hold on, can you hear it? That noise right there, it means it's good. So, I'm just doing texture like this with my medium gray. Go all the way up. And as I get closer to the middle, my dots and scribbles start separating. So at the beginning, I am consistent. And as I get closer, they separate. See that? So we're gonna do the same on the other side. Same thing. Stay consistent. And as you get closer, they separate. So that is my first layer. My second layer is with my lightest gray. So without cleaning the needle, just dip it in your lightest gray and start behind, or I guess start around this area. So start blending it out and everything's gonna start mixing together. Focus on the areas that you have like bold spots and just go in. Like this little bold spot right here, we'll take advantage of that. Bold spot right there. And fade it out. There we go. Do the same on the other side. See, I noticed that there's a bold spot right here. Perfect. And then finish it off by attacking this center part, separate it. That way, because what I'm gonna end up doing on this center part, I'm gonna add some white highlights on the both spots, which is gonna make it look like it's glowing, like a little shine to it. And there you go. That's exactly how I've been doing the whole statue with my 14 round liner at 5.0 voltage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this new video. Uh, I just wanted to say that it's such a great feeling and it makes me feel so grateful that you guys have created such a positive environment in my, in my channel that it is, it is amazing. You know, you guys coming into the comment sections and you guys share nothing but knowledge, positivity and great vibes and honestly I couldn't ask for more. So thank you guys and I, I, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, so keep this going, keep the great vibes going. Keep sharing positivity, keep sharing your knowledge, and because we are all here to learn. And if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.